Hello and welcome to Reformer Class. Today we are recording a class for my people with tight hips, hamstrings, and a lower back or lumbar spine. So if you fall into that category, I'm really happy you're here. We're going to start today on two red springs, uh, and we can flip your headrest up or down, whatever feels better for your neck in a supine position, and let's get you moving. Once you have your two red springs on, and you can lay all the way down on your back. Once you're down, as we always do, line up your shoulders, line up your hips so that you're even on the machine. And we're going to start by placing both heels onto the foot bar. Hands are down by your side. And then with both heels down, push the machine all the way out and hold. Double check, make sure you have that neutral pelvic position. Shoulder blades are pulling down and you have length in the back of your neck. Take your hands onto your hip bones because you don't want the pelvis to move at all. And then drag your right leg into a tabletop. From here, bend your left knee, let the carriage come in towards the stopper and press the machine open eight times. There's eight. We're really focusing on the lowest level of your glutes here. So that hamstring glute connection, or what I like to call the underbutt, there's seven. Resisting in without letting the pelvis move, press the machine open for six. Inhale, bending in. Exhale, press, there's five. Resist from that underbutt, lengthen out for four. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press for three more. There's three. Just getting a little heat into the leg and that lowest line of the glute for two. Bending in, lengthening out. Last one to hold. Replace the right heel down. Pop your head up. Make sure that your feet are even on the foot bar. And then bring that left leg into a tabletop position. Without letting the pelvis move, bend your right knee in and press. There's eight. The dog just needs to bending in, lengthening out. There's seven. Once again, we're really focusing on the underbutt, that hamstring glute connection, warming it up. There's six. Bending in, pressing away for five. Resist, press four, reach. Inhaling, exhale, lengthen out for three. Bending in, pressing away for two. Inhale, bend, exhale, press, last one. Replace the left toe onto the foot bar and then lengthen out the left leg as you pull the right leg into tabletop. Left toes on, right legs in tabletop. This time as you bend your left knee, extend the right leg out straight, and then exhale, press the left leg straight as you pull your right leg back into tabletop. Once again, your pelvis is not moving at all. It's all about pelvic stability. Bend and extend, and then resist back, and we have six more just like this. Press and resist for six. Inhaling and exhale, take it for five. <sighs> Lengthening out and resist, there's four. Once again, if you feel like your pelvis is rocking around, you wanna keep it completely steady right now for three. Reach and resist, there's two. <sighs> Inhaling, exhale, press last one. And then go ahead and replace that right toe onto the foot bar. Pop your head up, make sure that the feet are even. And then bring that left leg into tabletop. We have eight on this side. So bend your right knee as you extend through the left leg. Bend, bring the carriage in towards the stopper. And then exhale, lengthen back out. Once again, pelvis doesn't get to move at all. Reach and resist. Extend and resisting back. Three more. Press and resist. There's three. Inhaling and exhale. Take it for two. Inhale 
and exhale, resist. Last one. Replace that left foot down onto the foot bar. Once again, make sure your feet are nicely lined up and drop your heels under the foot bar just for a second to take a little bit of a light stretch. Lift the heels back up. Bend your knees. Come all the way into the stopper and hold. Bring your legs into a nice true tabletop. Reach your hands around and hold on to your silver pegs. Shoulder blades hook down. Keeping your shoulder blades connected to the mat. Twist your lower body or your legs to the right on an inhale. My knees are perfectly lined up and big exhale back to center. Take it to the left, inhaling over and exhale center. You want to pretend like you've got a piece of paper squeezed in between your knees and you don't want them to separate. Inhale over and exhale center and to the left, right shoulder blade stays down. And exhale, center, four more. To the right for four, just getting a nice rotation. And center, to the left for three. And exhaling, two more. To the right for two, twist. Reaching out that left elbow. And center, and to the left, last one, rotate. Bring it back to center and hold. Let your feet rest down. If your head rests up, reach around, flip it down flat, and bring those hands back down by your side. Walk your feet as wide as they can go onto the foot bar, and you're on your heels. Taking an inhale here on your exhale, we're gonna pelvic curl. So trying to keep the carriage in towards the stopper. Sometimes I'll take my fingertips just to the frame to make sure that it's not moving. You're gonna tuck the pelvis as deeply as you can and then peel your vertebra up and off one at a time. You inhale, hold the top, pulling the machine in towards the stopper and then exhale, roll it back down, just lengthening out the spine. Tailbone comes down, taking an inhale. Once again, our goal here is to deeply work our glutes. If you are cramping in your hamstrings at all, I recommend throwing on just another spring to give you a little bit more stability. You inhale, hold the top, and then exhale. Pull the machine down towards the stopper, or pull the machine in towards the stopper as you roll your hips all the way down. Let's take this for four more. Just once again, really warming up those glutes, bringing it up. There's four and rolling down. Once again, putting a little heat into the back side of the body for three so that we can stretch and open it up. Lift, inhale, holding, and exhale, articulating all the way back down. We have two more to go. Inhale, exhale, roll it up for two. Lift, inhaling, and exhale, rolling it back down. And then the last one right here, taking that inhale. Exhale, roll your hips all the way up. Hold up there and just give me a set of eight pulses up. Eight, seven, six from those glutes for five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it all the way down. Once you come down, bring your feet closer together on the foot bar, and then go ahead and cross your right ankle to your left knee and give me a nice hip stretch right there. You can push the machine open a little bit if need be and just breathe in that figure four stretch. Take four deep breaths right there, letting the hip open up. Breathe for four. Inhale, exhale, breathe for three. At this point, if you'd like to reach your hand around and flip your head rest up, you're more than welcome to for two. And last one. Bring now that shape and lift your left leg up and off of the foot bar. So you're still in that figure four. And then reach your hands around, hold on to the silver pegs. We're just gonna go to the right. So you're gonna take that shape, twist to the right, just how we did before on an inhale, keeping your left shoulder blade down and exhale back to center and let's take it to the left. Inhaling over, twist, take that beautiful stretch and exhale center. We're gonna take it to the right for four and exhale to the left for three, twist and center to the right for two, 
Opening up that low back and exhale center, getting some nice rotation to the left. Last one, inhale over and exhale, come back to center. Let the left foot come down, bring that right foot down and bring that left ankle to the right knee. Take a little inventory. Is one side tighter than the other or are they about even? My left hip is definitely a bit tighter. I'm gonna hold here. We're gonna take about five deep breaths, just enjoying that figure four stretch for five. Inhaling, exhale, breathe, there's four. And exhale for three, letting that hip really open up. Sink into that stretch for two. Also, what micro movements can you do to take this stretch a little bit deeper? Last one. Bring that shape uh, into what is technically a tabletop. So the right foot comes up and off, hold on to the silver pegs. We're gonna start by twisting this shape to the left, keeping your shoulder blades connected to the mat. Inhale, take it over. Oh, it feels so lovely on the spine. And exhale, center to the right. Inhaling over. Stretch and exhale, center. And let's go for four more to the left for four. And exhaling, and exhale, breathe for three, and center to the left for two, twist, and exhale, and last one right here, inhale, taking it over, exhale, come back to center, and hold. Replace both feet onto the foot bar, reach those arms straight up towards the ceiling, get some low abdominal work going. Keeping your feet connected to the foot bar, give me a nice chest lift up for four. Now, if your pelvis is gonna tuck as you come up, relax that tailbone back down, try to curl up a little bit higher, and inhale, resisting back. And exhale, lift for three, and inhaling down. Taking it up, there's two. And resist, now lift to hold. Bring your right leg just to tabletop. Hands can stay down by your side or they can come behind your head. You're gonna reach that right leg out over the foot bar. Now really sinking it into those low abs. Exhale, pull the leg back into tabletop. There's eight. Length and take it for seven. Reach and breathe for six. Once again, pelvis doesn't move at all. It's just that femur bone moving in the hip socket. For five, length and breathe. There's four. Inhaling, exhale, breathe for three. Inhale, exhale, take two. Pressing out, bring the leg in. Last one, keep the chest lifted, replace that left Right foot down, bring the left leg into tabletop, reach the leg out and bringing it in for eight. Press and resist, there's seven. Length and breathe, there's six. Once again, curling up a little bit higher. And five, once again, really putting heat into those low abdominals for four. Press and breathe for three. Inhaling and exhale, take two. Length, pull the knee in, last one. Replace that foot all the way down. Let your head rest. And then reach behind you, grab for those long loops. We're gonna go ahead and put the right foot in and the left foot in and lengthen those legs out nice and long. Pelvis comes to that nice neutral position and we're gonna hinge those legs up towards the ceiling, stretching out those hamstrings but keeping your tailbone heavy, and then big exhale, press those legs back down for four. Inhale, bring the legs up towards the sky, tailbone's heavy. If you still have that nice lumbar lift in your back, you get a lovely stretch, and breathe for three. Inhale, stretch, hold the stretch for a second, and then squeeze the glutes to press the legs down for two. Inhale, bringing it up. Once again, you still have that nice lumbar curve. And then exhale, press and hold. Go heels together, toes apart. Bend the knees in like a frog. Still in that neutral spine, neutral pelvis, and big exhale, press back out from that under butt for eight. Every time you press away, initiate by engaging the pelvic floor, lifting, growing taller for seven. Bending in, press there, six. Once again, is your pelvis completely steady for five? 
Inhale, hinge, exhale, press. There's four. Bend, reach for three. Inhale, hinge, exhale, take two. Trying to really squeeze into those inner thighs as well. Press to hold. Go back to parallel, lower the legs down. We're gonna circle four times in each direction. Pressing down, take your hands onto your bones because you don't want that pelvis rocking around. Circle the legs out to the side and up towards the ceiling. There's four, lengthening out. Once again, think about it's just the femur bone rotating around in the hip socket for seven. The pelvis stays completely steady. Even if that means your circles are a little bit smaller, press. And then last one, this direction, circling around. Hold the top and let's reverse. Open out to the side, bring it down around for four. Inhaling up, tailbone stays heavy. Open and circle for three. Up, open, taking it around for two. And up, open, circle, last one. We're gonna do a hip flexor and hamstring stretch. Bring your legs up towards the ceiling and go ahead, grab onto those ropes. You'll then, and they're not directly up, they're a bit of an angle. You're going to take your right leg out to the side, bend your right knee and bring the right foot to the floor of the exterior of the frame. Now, keeping your pelvis in neutral position, start to let the um, carriage pull in towards the stopper. You're gonna start to feel a lovely stretch in your left hamstring and through your right hip flexor. And let's breathe right there for four. Once again, the more you can get your tailbone down, the deeper the stretch for three. If you have some knee issues going on, this might not be a great stretch for you for two. So if you feel anything in your knees, go ahead, come out of it. And last one, and then push the left leg down a little bit as you bring your right foot up to match it. From here, we're gonna go ahead, keep your right foot where it is, bend your left knee and bring the left foot down to the floor and up to the exterior of the machine. Start to let the right leg float up towards the ceiling as you take a nice stretch through the left hip flexor and breathe right there for four. Inhale, exhale, breathe for three. If this does not feel good on your left knee at all, just come out of it and go for a straight hamstring stretch for two. And last one. Let's bring that left leg back up to meet the right. Bring those legs straight up towards the ceiling, still in that neutral pelvis, pull down on the straps, and you can flex the feet right there just to take that nice hamstring stretch. Take that into a straddle stretch. And breathe for about three breaths right there. Breathe for two. And we're gonna carefully get you out of these straps. We've really warmed up and stretched open the hips and the low back. And we're gonna bring you up, twist you around, sit down on your machine, and then carefully bring your right shin up against those shoulder blocks, and bring your left shin up so it lines up with the wood frame in what we call mermaid position. Look down into your spring well, add on your blue, get rid of your two reds. Left hand comes onto the foot bar, Right palm faces the ceiling. We're gonna press and stretch up and over, keeping your right hip down as much as you can. You're opening up that low oblique on that right side and getting a lovely side stretch and raise this back in and we have three more right here. Press, stretch up and over, there's three. And inhale, resisting back. Taking it up and over for two lengthening out once again trying to keep that right hip down to get the lovely stretch resisting in press stretch last one opening up now that right hip will have to lift up a little bit as you twist your heart to face the ground walk your hands as wide as they can go onto the foot bar push the machine open a little bit further and lower your heart down towards the ground from here, you're going to initiate by bringing your head up, roll through your spine a little bit, let the carriage come into the stopper. Here's your actual mermaid stretch. You should be getting a nice stretch through your left psoas and your right multivity. So the front of your left hip and the, the right side of your spine. 
and press the machine all the way back out. And let's take that for three more. Roll it up for three. Stretch and lengthening out. Taking it up for two, and you can roll through this movement. That feels best for me. And lengthening out. Last one right here. Bring the machine in towards the stopper. Shoulder blades hook down. And once again, press all the way back out and hold. Walk your left hand towards the center of the foot bar. Release that right hand, getting your right hip back down. And carefully come all the way in. You can grab onto the forward shoulder block or peg. Or I like to push my right hand against the headrest as now I side stretch up and over to the right, letting my left oblique and side open up. And breathe for three. Breathe for two, and last one. Bring yourself up. Now, a little party trick. If you keep your feet where they are, you lift your knees up towards the sky and you twist towards your risers, you can rotate around perfectly to the opposite side and then let your knees drop, scoot your bum around, and we're ready for a mermaid facing the opposite direction. Right hand comes onto the foot bar, left palm faces the ceiling, left hip stays down as you side stretch up and over. There's four. Take inventory on your body. Is this tighter, looser, about the same? And resist back in. If you do have a side that's tighter, do a couple extra reps on that side to open it up for three. And resisting back. It's all about balance, right to left, front to back. There's two, stretch, and resisting in. Now on the next one, we're gonna press, stretch, and hold. Taking it up and over, opening up that side, and then rotate your heart to face the ground. Walk your hands as wide as they can go onto the foot bar. Push the machine out as far as you can, and pause out there. Take that nice rotational stretch through the spine. From here, we're gonna be opening up the left multifidi and the right psoas. So roll through the spine, bringing the machine in towards the stopper, shoulder blades hooked down, back of the neck is long. So by right psoas, I mean kind of right hip flexor coming up the right side of the core. Left multifidi, I mean the left side of the spine, that cable that goes down the left side of the spine. And pressing back out, we have three more right here. Bringing it up and forward for three. Shoulders hook down, lift, pressing back out. So a little trivia. What did Joseph and Clara Pilates call Pilates? Because they did not refer to it as Pilates, which is just their last name. There's two. They called it controlology, the art of controlling your body. So that's why you want to move slow and meticulously through the movements and really open up those neurological connections to different muscle groups, the smaller muscles in the body. Last one, pressing all the way out. Also, it's always good to note, bring your right hand to the center of the foot bar, release the left hand, Yes, Joseph did come up with a series of exercises and he is the founder of these movements and of the machines, but Clara was known to be the better teacher. Just saying. Grab onto the forward shoulder block peg or put your hand onto the headrest and stretch that right arm up and over. Let's give her a little credit for being a superior teacher. And breathe for two, opening up and last one. Carefully bring yourself to a seated position with your feet on the floor. We're gonna do one more figure four stretch here. I'm gonna start by crossing my right ankle to my left knee, pushing my right knee down. Now sit up as tall as you possibly can, and then pull your heart down and forward to open up that hip. When you find your natural start stopping point, you're gonna hold and breathe for four. Now, you want a nice flat spine. If you go into computer posture, you've lost the stretch. So really lift that heart up and forward as you stretch and breathe. One more deep breath right here. And when you're ready, let's replace that right foot down. Bring the left ankle up to the right knee. Push down on that left knee a bit. Adjust your pants if need be. And once again, sit up as tall as you can and hinge forward. No roundness or flexion to the spine right now. You'll get a far superior stretch that way. And breathe. Take two more deep breaths, letting this left hip open up. And last one. 
and you can bring yourself back upright. Have a wonderful afternoon or morning or night, depending on where you are. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.